With us is Brahmastra, cast, Ranbir, Alia, Ayan. Very warm welcome. I'm not the cast. Of course, cast and director. Be very happy for a complete feeling. <laughs> It's done. Alia is like the leading producer, director, <laughs> all actors. She knows every figure. She knows everything. Ah, uh, she can get uh, uh, daunting sometimes. You know, <laughs> she can because she's a bit boisterous. Uh, you know, and she can bully you. I mean, what topping does Brahmastra Pizza have? What topping? Definitely not pineapple because I feel pineapple doesn't go with pizza. So all those people who feel pineapple tastes good with pizza, it sucks. Hi, I'm Arun Singh. We're talking Brahmastra, and I have only one astra, which is the talking astra, and I've actually got a button also. And someone, not, like one of you, has to switch it on. Only then I go like fumble less. So we are at Dharma's office, and uh, with us is Brahmastra, cast, Ranbir, Alia, Ayan. Very warm welcome. I'm not the cast. Of course, cast yeah. and director. Uh -huh. Congratulations on the success. Thank you. And I'm definitely not going to ask that how did it feel because I'm sure it felt great. But what has been the learning, your biggest learning from this film? Um, biggest learning? Oh God, there are so many. Um, why don't you start? Because I don't, I, I'm thinking uh, up my answer. I think the biggest starts. learning is that we, or oh, maybe if I can speak for them, thought that this would feel great. But like Amitabh Bachchan has said in the last line of the film that we have won the fight, but there is still a long way to go because there is a long way to go. So it's never done. And I think as artists, as creative people, uh, that is, uh, we should be grateful for that. You know, that we found some inspiration, uh, some criticism, uh, love, uh, and, what, and what not, you know, which came from the audience. And we carrying that into part two, part three, and onto the Astravas. And I think that's what I'm feeling today. Is yeah, that sums up what we all feel, mm. I think, you know. Uh, lots of learnings about uh, the creative process. We've had learnings, to be honest, through this journey. Because it was a very, you know, unusual, new kind of film that we were trying to make. Um, but uh, honestly, now there's just a feeling of, like, gratitude as we've put it all out. And mm. a feeling of excitement for the future. Now, what has been your biggest takeaway? I think what Ranbir said, it's that, it's that, yeah, it does a, we would be very happy for a complete feeling, ke, oof, it's done, but the, a done feeling is just not coming, um, and it just feels like, yeah, it's, the journey goes on, you, and you have to actually be even more alert and aware and awake at this time, so, um, Friday we thought we'll breathe, no, but then we're like, let's wait for Sunday, then after, you know, a great weekend, we're like, no, no, but let the week get over, now it's like all about the second weekend, yeah. weekend. <laughs> so while it's all positive and it's good and it's all of that, mm. yeah, I think we are kind of taking in, taking in everything, criticism, love, sure. everything, just because we feel like we need to arm ourselves right now so we can move forward and deliver an even better product with part two and part three. But taking cue from what she said, what was Friday morning like? Because this film has taken a lot of labor and Friday morning when it we was, woke up, it was hard. It was we, not easy. Yeah. we were sitting like what sitting like remind me on what the happened? edge. I remember I woke up at seven o'clock in the morning. Ranbir and Alia were buzzing. I think they were almost weirdly buzzing more than I was in the yeah, first three. Four days. Was like I had a weird sense of calm <laughs> on the first Same. few days. Yeah, I was obviously. I think I was so tired delivering the film. I was just like. Uh, Thing. But they My were like bouncing, like reading thing. everything. They I had don't crazy energy. What happened Friday? Don't you remember? I woke up early, then then I came back to bed, then we woke up again, and I was sitting talking, and we and I were talking for some four hours. Hmm. Alia is like a trade pundit. Yeah, time. I was gonna ask who out of you is the is. Someone who's oh, yeah, there's, a, there's, there's, a, there's a joke amongst everybody on the film, including all the different producers, that Alia is like the leading producer, director, <laughs> all actors. She knows every figure, she knows everything. What's <laughs> happening in every territory, so she's like. I'm a, like speaking to people. Like, Renbi like goes on the hard route. Okay. He goes on. Uh, on on uh, on the social media sites and types Brahmastra, and so that everything. everything comes there. So he goes for the hard route, which is very difficult. I can't go that route. I prefer to speak to people on the phone. So between the two of us, we are covering a lot of grounds. We were calling Ayan up, and Ayan actually was you was just silent on Friday. Well, it was a very uh, difficult and challenging project to mm. to put together all these years and to get out. The last lap of it was extremely challenging. So. Honestly, uh, just the fact that we put the whole film together and delivered it 
uh, that was one high point for us even prior to release that you know we'd finally finished and like reached the top of the mountain and Brahmastra 1 was done and ready so I think that feeling has actually also been a feeling that I've been carrying around all these days that we did our best mm. and we finished our work on part 1 and you know one standard thing that has been there in every review mm -hmm. and also everyone I'm, I'm talking to who's watched the film is about the visuals of it, the VFX mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. Can you give us an insight of what really went into from your end because so, your, it was a different school of cinema for you as well. So you know uh, I'll try to keep it short because there's a lot to say. Sure. Like this journey of the VFX and making the visuals has been a uh, like you know seven eight year journey of just figuring out how to do it. Huh. Um, Everything on Brahmastra has involved the words new and learn how to do it and you know uh, be patient to allow this new thing to happen and that's how it was with to get where we got visually on the film. Hmm. Um, I genuinely like with a lot of like no arrogance and a lot of humility want to say that I feel very proud of the visual uh, the visuals that we put together on this film. I truly think that technically it's a big step ahead from anything that we've managed to achieve before. Mm. And uh, you know visual effects are a tool in the modern world of filmmaking to really allowing your imagination to take flight. You need visual effects to create like everything that the human mind can imagine. And so for our cinema to progress and be really creative and imaginative, uh, vi visual effects are a very important tool. So I feel that Brahmastra by you know being so integrated with VFX this mm. is a great thing for us for the Astraverse but also a great thing for Indian film in general mm. you know and I think that it's a tool that hopefully a lot of other people will be able to use a lot more and a lot more freely and more imaginatively with Brahma right, after Brahmastra. Right and past few months have been quite monumental for both of you a lot has happened on the professional and personal front and you know when you when there's a work dynamic a lot of people shy away also from working with friends because there's a different kind of dynamic that cross paths. Uh, how is it working with your partner and of course you've been promoting it together what what has been that like? Easy. I mean I don't think there's like... I mean, do you divide your like mind okay this is my work personality for you and this is my... I think it just naturally happens that when we're in a working atmosphere like and also Ranbir and I are both very strong individuals especially me like I mean I don't mean he's not a strong individual but what I mean is we both sort of respect each other's individual personality in a, in our prof when, in our professional commitments together and we don't kind of get in the way um, and we don't feel like and anyway I don't think we are the that those do jism ek jaan kind of people even in our personal sort of life we have um a beautiful equation um, uh, uh, as as companions but we have an actually even better working relationship because we both are so passionate about movies mm. and we both of sort of like to soldier on along with you know the, the director and the visionary over here and we like to sort of surrender and give completely to the process so in that sense yeah it was very easy very effortless and honestly nothing that is like screams out to me as a different equation. For you Ranbir, has, I mean have you been carrying different personality to work with your partner or? No, I don't think so. You know, no. Also comes out, uh, comes from the uh, reason that I respect her a lot. I admire her as an actor, as the person she is apart from being my wife. Um, yeah, she can get uh, uh, daunting sometimes, <laughs> you know, she can, because she's a bit boisterous, uh, you know, and she can bully you. Uh, you know, she tries and uh, gets me to do. Does it come on you or everybody on the set? Uh, she tries to do a lot of Instagram photo shoots with me before we go to an event. One which second, <laughs> but not once have I done an Instagram photo shoot with I you. I know, but there is a Just lot of fighting. Just let me make it very clear. Is it his photo shoot or two of you together? Two no, of us together. I do two of you together. my pictures and all of that. Yeah. Little bit, you know, my clothes and everything. Ranbir Kapoor, let me be very clear, he's the most shy person. So I'm like Ranbir Kapoor, no baby, no photo, no photo. So I asked once and all, I'm like, do you want to take a photo? He said, no, I have not tried but to having, make you do any picture after true, that. True, true. But having said that, I actually <laughs> use Alia as... I love how he surrendered, he's like, true. Uh, true, true. No, I'm in that place that if anybody tells me 2 plus 2 is 5, I'll say yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, having said that, what I must say is that I, I think... Uh, I have got the best manager in the world and that is Alia because anything that I have to get done I get it done through her because she's got the best management skills in the world right. she just makes it happen 
and she just makes my life easy you know so if there is some communication that i have to tell ayan or the production or something about promotions or the film mm. we discuss it i try and convince uh, ayan put that uh, we uh, and put this back and we try and convince i try and convince some her kind of brahmastra magic happening yeah. behind us so <laughs> the, the universe is saying that is he he this things off my shoulder hmm. he wants to know everything people think i am more curious than be this as curious but he does it silently he yeah, does it silently. why are you he, yeah. he wants to know he like call ayan and then i call ayan then he does Speaker. you know sometimes i <laughs> sometimes i wonder if these two had not gotten together and they hmm. were the lead. we've brahmastra is um, We've spoken about it so much. It went on for so long that supposing Ranbir was in Brahmastra and Alia was not in Brahmastra, mm. and we were hanging out so much, I don't think we could have managed the film. It was perfect that we were because we had to carry this film for so long. Right. Uh, in a way, it became like you know a little child that we were all carrying amongst us for yeah. many many years and mm. talking about it as a team. And and you're shooting a lot of problems. Are Over each other's shoulders also. Mm. If yeah. Ayan had a production problem, I would discuss to call with them. Uh, he would use me sometimes for a meeting, or he would, you know, pick on Alia. So we've actually used each Helped other in each this other. process a lot. Right, and you know, as soon as you uh, had that announcement out, uh, of course, there were a lot of sexist reporting also on it. Has that decreased or things have been better? On what announcement? What announcement? What's your pregnancy, of course? My, my Uh, Screw that! What were the? <laughs> why should there be any sexist? I don't think there was lots of sexist. Uh, no, something you had actually clarified by yeah, the post. One, two, yeah, one, two, three. Well, I, I don't even know about this. I didn't remember okay. when I said whatever. So I said. Okay, I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, anyway, so yeah. has it gotten better or? Yeah, yeah I think it. I mean, it was fine only. the fact that it's not come in my this thing since then that means it's fine only. Listen, boss. Fine. One thing is clear. I'm not saying that she's because she's my wife. Alia in the history of Indian cinema is probably one of the most important actors that they've ever been. Whatever she's done, uh, the work she's done on screen, or the kind of way she carries herself, and you know what the kind of a uh, value system that she has and what she stands by, hmm. I haven't really seen that. I haven't seen that strength in 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 men or women, and I think we should just respect that. I think if she is uh, the way she has carried herself through this entire marketing of this film, being pregnant, you know, being at the at the condition that she is. Uh, I mean, you should only be inspired by that. I mean, any kind of criticism is just jealousy, <laughs> and mischief makers, and stupidity, and we should not take that seriously. In the end, Ayan, there's also been a bit of criticism when it comes to dialogue, or maybe people have like a little bit of different opinion about it, yeah. and they said that it could have been it done in a different fashion. Mm -hmm. What is your take on that? You know, we're listening, to be honest, and not heard everything yet. Okay. Uh, but definitely listening to feedback because by no means do I think that you know. We cracked the code ten on ten on Brahmastra one. Mm. So one I want to say is that we accept it, and in the next few weeks we are going to listen to it even more deeply and take all that improvement into part two. But what I want to say is instead of focusing on you know the one or two things that we can improve on, which is great, I think there is a lot in Brahmastra which makes it a very 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 unique experience. Mm. You know, lot of incredible sequences, lot of really nice thoughts. Uh, a beautiful love story, and uh, right now, like my, you know, I feel we should keep the focus on all that, like positive stuff. But definitely, sure. hearing everything, improvement in the future. Thank you yeah. so very much for this lovely conversation, Thank and you. all the very best for Thank you, Arun. second part as well. Thanks, Thank you, Arun. Thank you. This is Thank Arun Singh you. for NDTV. Thank you.